Okay, so we have a basic algebra equation. The equation is 1 over x is equal to the square root of 0.25. But uh, the kind of the secret here to solve this equation without the aid of a calculator is something you learn before algebra, okay? It's basic math, and I'll give you a little bit of a clue. It has to do with your ability to write this number as a fraction. Matter of fact, I just gave you a gigantic uh, clue. So if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the right answer in just one second, and then we'll walk through step-by-step step how to solve this problem. Again, without the aid of a calculator, all you need is your supercomputer. We all have one. It's right up here in between our ears. That thing is way more powerful than any artificial intelligence. That's actual intelligence. So I have confidence in your brain power. Okay, but uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so one over x is equal to the square root of 0.25. Again, we're not going to use our calculator. Let's go to take a look at the answer. The correct answer is two, okay? So not uh, a terribly complex solution. Again, this is a pretty easy problem, and I'll get to the kind of secret here, uh, you know, in terms of doing this problem without the aid of a calculator. But if you got this right, we must celebrate your success by giving you a nice happy face and A plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. So you could brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a professional, you are certified, you are like an expert in solving basic algebraic uh, equations. And that's what this is here. It's an algebraic equation. And what makes this uh, kind of extra exciting is that we're taking the square root of a decimal. And uh, this should not bother you if you remember the stuff that you learned way back in your arithmetic days. Okay, So uh, those of you out there that are studying math or kind of reviewing math, you know, most mathematics, at least up until college, is broken up into three phases. We have our elementary stuff, you know, things that we learn from kindergarten up to, say, sixth grade. Well, fifth grade, if you will. Then you have middle school math, and then you have your high school math. We get into algebra, geometry, trigonometry, all that kind of good stuff. But in middle school, you make the transition from elementary school, and you're getting ready for high school math, right? You start doing basic algebra. You know, you really have to become an expert in those foundational skills, positive, negative numbers, etc. But way back here in our elementary uh, days, uh, we learned all kinds of stuff about decimals, basic math operations, place value, and you can't forget this stuff. Math uh, builds upon itself, but if you don't, you know, do some proms uh, that challenge you, you're going to forget this. So it's pretty uh, common for, you know, a lot of people to be like, yeah, I forgot how to do this. I understand that. So let's uh, go ahead and see if we can kind of, you know, get your memory back here. And again, here is our equation. Now, we're not using a calculator here. And there's probably a couple different approaches you could take uh, to do this. But the, uh, the easiest approach by far is to first address this number right here. Okay, we have 1 over x is equal to the square root of 0.25. We want to make this uh, as easy as possible. Okay, so how can we do that? Well, we can do this by using our knowledge of place value. Okay, so instead of taking the square root of a decimal, it might be easier to think of this as a fraction. Okay, so uh, 0.25 is equivalent to what fraction? Well, we have to look at this fraction. Matter of fact, let me put it over here, 0.25, and we want to say this fraction out loud. So I said, hey, say the fraction, uh, say this fraction out loud. Now, <laughs> some of you might say, well, 0.25. Well, don't use the word point. So how else would you say this? Well, hopefully you, uh, you're going to say that this has 25 hundredths, okay? 25 hundredths. That's how you would say this here. So the two is in the tenths place, and the five here is in the hundredths place. So uh, the way place value works is whatever the last digit here is, this is in the hundredths place. So we're going to write a, fra a fraction, uh, 25 over 100. Okay, so 25 over 100, 25 over 100. If you took that 25 divided by 100, you'd get back to 0.25, okay? Now, of course, 
I can reduce this fraction down, 25 over 100, to the fraction 1 fourth. So instead of uh, the square root of 0.25, we're going to have the square root of 1 over 4. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see what we need to do. And what we need to do is just go ahead and rewrite this problem by uh, taking this decimal and expressing it as a fraction. Now, one uh, kind of common here is I have 1 uh, slash x. Uh, now, I do this often, uh, pretty often in a lot of my uh, videos, is I show you different ways um, how fractions are written. So some of you out there like to write your fractions with an angled uh, uh, fraction bar like so. I'm going to tell you there's nothing wrong uh, doing that, but in algebra, okay, you want to get used to writing kind of a horizontal fraction bar this way, okay? So if you, you know, been kind of, uh, you know, in the habit, you know, of writing your fractions like, say, five-thirds this way, nothing wrong uh, in writing fractions like that in arithmetic, but try to get in the habit of writing your fractions this way. That's my opinion, and it only comes after decades and decades of teaching mathematics and doing mathematics. But uh, here is the way I'm going to think of this problem. So instead of 1 slash x, I'm going to have 1 over x, okay, is equal to the square root of not 0.25, but I know that this is equal to the fraction 1 over 4, okay, so the square root of 1 over 4. Now, this becomes quite easy when you understand a basic property of square roots. And, we're, of course, I'm going to show you that in just one second. But first, I'm going to show you this, and that is an invitation to subscribe to my channel. This really helps me out. Matter of fact, it helps my little YouTube school, and that's kind of how I think about it. I feel like my YouTube channel is my own personal math school. Okay, and uh, the whole mission of my school is to, you know, uh, teach anyone who's interested in math or who's struggling in math, especially those people who, uh, you know, are almost given up hope on math. Those are the people I want in my classroom, because no one, uh, you know, should be given up, uh, given up on their ability to do mathematics. Okay, I'm telling you right now, I've been doing this for a long time. What you need is encouragement. Okay, you need to change your mindset. And you need great instruction. And you got to, you know, start from the beginning. And that's different for everybody. And build up your skill set. But by you subscribing, it really does help me reach more people. Thank you so much. Make sure to hit that notification button as well. Okay, so back to the problem. Okay, so here we have 1 over x is equal to the square root of 1 over 4. Now, the next thing that we want to do is understand something about taking the square root of fractions. Okay, now this may not be so obvious to some of you, but this is an excellent property, okay, of taking the, of uh, square roots, okay, or radicals. It's one that you definitely need to know, and that is the following, okay, the square root of a fraction, one big square root of a fraction like this inside of that square root can be broken up into two square roots, okay, in other words, we could... Uh, take the square root of the numerator and put that over the square root of the denominator just as I have it right here. Now that really is going to be helpful because the square root of 1 is 1 and the square root of 4 is 2. Okay, So right now uh, we figured out that the square root of 1 fourth is equal to 1 half. Okay, so this now is going to become quite easy. So here's our problem. Uh, we have 1 over x is equal to the square root of uh, one fourth. We figure that uh, we just figured out that the square root of one fourth is equal to one half. Okay, now let's just use some common sense here and stare at this problem. Okay, or stare at this situation. Now I'm trying to determine what x is equal to the solution, right? So I have this fraction and it's equal to this fraction. Okay, so these must be equivalent. Now let's take a look at the numerators. The numerators are the same number, right? One and one. And if these are the same this is 2, what must x be? Okay, well, you know, the only way uh, that these are going to be equal to is that this has to be 2, because 1 half will equal to 1 half. So you could see here that x must be equal to 2. But let's suppose you didn't see that. Uh, what you have here, technically, and I hate to get all technical on you, is that two equal fractions in mathematics is something called a proportion, all right? And you can solve a proportion easily by something called the cross product. In other words, we cross multiply this way, to solve for x. So 1 times 2 is, of course, 2, and that's going to be equal to 1 times x. So that's x. So x is equal to 2. Okay, so again, a pretty uh, basic problem. I think the key here 
obviously is uh, two things. One, you need to know a little bit about the square root of fractions. And even if you didn't understand it, you probably can reason through reason through this uh, square root and be like, well, you know what, maybe it's one half. You know, if I took the square root of that and um, you can always check your solution, <clears throat> but you couldn't even get to that point unless you understood place value. Okay, 0.25 is equal to 25 hundredths. All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is cracking up here, but uh, hopefully my brain isn't cracking up. I do love teaching mathematics and I try to span my videos on my YouTube channel from basic math to calculus to trigonometry. You know, uh, I'm only one person. I wish I could duplicate myself. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, maybe with the A, uh, uh, you know, AI one day, I can kind of like, you know, have myself doing other videos. But, you know, what I try to do is to post videos that I think are going to be helpful for the uh, broadest, you know, amount of people out there. And generally, that's kind of basic mathematics, basic algebra. But again, on my channel, um, I do other advanced stuff as well. Of course, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot less people interested in complex, you know, number trigonometry than there is in maybe something like this. But nevertheless, I do have it on my channel. And if you're interested in learning math from me all the way up to pre-calculus, I'll leave links to all my uh, main courses in the description of this video. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.